Marty, a, a tough opening draw for your Davis Cup season, but you're at home again. You get to play in Canadian conditions, as you called them in the past. How do you feel the, the tie's going to stack up this weekend? Yeah, I mean, we, we're playing a very good team. Uh, you know, they got a lot, a lot of players that have been playing well lately, especially Daniel. Uh, he's had a really good run down under, so um, they've got you know good players and that that know how to play on this surface as well. So um, our guys have been training, preparing, and you know um, we we've we know this court pretty well. We play in Canada. We we've got to use every advantage uh, in our favor to to press on and to dictate and to to take it to them. You know. Um, and play our Canadian aggressive tennis style of play and uh, and play to win every match and go one match at a time. I don't think you could beat the Canadian squad for the blend of youth and experience you've got in there. I wondered if there were any uh, advantages and challenges to that as a captain. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, there's a big gap there between 17 and 44. Um, probably the biggest gap in history, I, I would think. Uh, you know, and, and for Dennis, it's a, it's a great honour. I don't know... Uh, how many 17-year-olds in a world group uh, were named or even given the chance to play. But, uh, you know, these conditions um, suit his game really well. He's a lefty. He's got a disruptive game, uh, doesn't give much rhythm, um, and, you know, doesn't fear anybody. Uh, so, you know, um, he's going he's gonna to start uh, the weekend. Uh, he's looking forward to that match, as he's mentioned. Uh, uh, he's going to use the crowd and, and, and all his skills, and um, and hopefully I, we, we turn out okay. There's no Milos for the Canadian team, there's no Andy for the GB team, but it still looks like a very competitive time paper. It must be quite satisfying to to be able to absorb those sorts of losses and still be able to put out such a strong team. Yeah, I mean, you know, when, when Milos is here, great. Uh, if he's not, it's, you know, we, we've, we've got a rally and, and you know pull even stronger and that's you know we're able to manage to, to do that a few times uh, when he's not around we're still in the world group uh, six years in a row and um, you know we're we're gonna try to prove again that we can hold our own uh, against any team especially when we play in Canada um, and uh, yeah we'll, we'll take it to team Great Britain as, as best we can. And obviously it's a big weekend for Daniel Nestor as well playing his 50th uh, Davis Cup tie for Canada this weekend I just wondered if you had any particular memories from your time as captain or even from your time as a player over those years since 92? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've had the fortune to be, um, you know, on the team with Daniel as a player, as a, as a coach and as a captain for, for all those uh, 50 times. And Daniel's been around pretty much every time. I mean, the, he'd be maybe up to four, 54, 55, no more, because uh, injuries, but uh, every chance he, he had, uh, you know, he would come out and play. So there's some great uh, memories and singles and doubles, and you know he's you know, 44 and 50th tie, but he's still one of the best in the world at what he does, uh, particularly in these uh, conditions of play. Um, and uh, you know he just you know lives for uh, those opportunities to play Grand Slams and Masters and, and Davis Cups and Olympics. So you know he's like a fish in water here, and um, you know that's going to be a big big match on Saturday, uh, no doubt. We're facing a very tough team. Uh, Murray and Glott are, you know, they they know how to win, and um, you know they kind of like these scores too. So it'll be a very close match, I think. Best of luck this weekend. Thank you.